it's Lauren. Thanks so much for watching. Today I'm going to just give you two quick shades from Shades EQ by Redken that you can use if you are experiencing really brassy foliage. So I'm going to give you two quick different scenarios and the two shades that I absolutely love to use when something like this happens. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first scenario, let's say your client has super dark hair, like we're talking level two, three, you do a balayage, it lifts to a level seven and that's all you get. And the remaining pigment at a level seven is orange. And we're talking just straight orange. Oh my gosh, like, is she going to hate me? Orange. So if that happens to you, my favorite um, shade from Shades EQ to use is just 9B. Okay, so for the second scenario, let's say you have like a level six, or up, like anything that's a little bit lighter and you notice that there's a lot of brass in the balayage still, usually it's probably lifted to around a level seven or eight, but it's not quite as orange as the first one. It's kind of like an orangey yellow gold color. For that one, I'm actually just gonna use 9P. So I'm gonna show you what these two shades look like and then I'm gonna explain like what the pigments are so that you can kind of understand why these work so well. So this is what 9B looks like. So it's like silver. I don't know if you can see that. So it's like pretty silver. It's so pretty, but the base tone in there is blue. So if you think about, you know, I lifted to a pure orange. What cancels out orange? Blue. And a level nine is gonna work really well. One thing to keep in mind though is even though you're using a level nine, because there's so much blue in it, blue makes colors appear a lot darker because blue absorbs light. So even if you use a level nine, in our scenario, we lifted to a level seven, even if you use a level nine, it's still probably gonna look much darker. So keep that in mind. Okay, and then 9P, this is what this one looks like from the Shades EQ swatch book. Here, I'll turn it this way. All right, so this is what 9P looks like. They call it Pearl um, Opal Glow. And with the P in Shades EQ, the base color is gonna be gray plus blue violet. So I like to use this shade even when I'm just doing uh, toning blonde hair that isn't brassy. It just is a really pretty color um, on its own. But this also comes in a level seven as well. So, um, but the reason I would use 9P over 9B on something that is just a natural level six or higher is because 9P is not quite as pigmented as the 9B. The 9B is just like that scenario where I'm like, whoa, this is so orange. Is anything gonna get this to look neutral? That's when I use 9B. I'll use 9P when I'm like, okay, there's still like a little bit of like goldy colors left. Since the base is uh, gray, blue, violet, that's gonna cancel out orange and yellow. Okay, so just to recap real quick, the B is going to give you a very pure blue. Um, and then also just a quick tip too, you don't wanna use, if you're using a different color line and you're trying to find something that'll be kind of similar to this, you don't wanna use anything with a lot of brown in it. You wanna try to stick to more like pure pigments as much as possible. This is really, really close to that. So this also has a little bit of black in it if you're using like a 1B. So that's like a really low level, it's gonna have black in it. But the main base colors here are blue and gray. So just so you remember that. And then for this one, 9P, the main base colors are gonna be gray plus blue plus violet. So violet, you only wanna use when there's orange and yellow. Blue, you wanna use when it's like pure orange and you're not seeing much yellow at all. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't let you leave until I give you some really important information that you need to know about toning in order to make sure that you're successful. So number one is you need to know that toning does nothing but cover up another tone. So the best way that you can prevent hair from becoming brassy when you're doing balayage is to make sure that you lift adequately. Put all of your energy into making sure that you, you are lifting enough and toning will not be so difficult. So if you're always running into the problem of my balayage is always brassy, I need the right formula, I need the right formula, I want you to try to expand your thinking and consider trying to put more energy into getting the adequate lift. So 
Make sure that you are using small sections. Make sure that you're saturating completely. Don't rinse until you see a really nice yellow if you're trying to get a really cool result because toning is not going to be your savior. It will help prevent you from sending somebody out the door um, looking crazy, but it's not going to actually do anything to make sure that the hair is not brassy. It's just covering it up for a time. It's going to fade and the client's gonna have to come back and have it retoned. The only way you could actually make sure that the brass is gone is by lifting it out. So that's why it's very important to make sure that you just put a lot of energy and a lot of your thinking into actually taking your time to lift properly in the first place. And then the second thing that I wanted to make sure you understand is that purple shampoo is going to do nothing for orange, brassy, dark hair. Purple shampoo, you know, that's that's violet. So that's gonna help with yellow hair. So somebody who's like a more lighter blonde and they wanna just keep that blonde looking super clean, that's the purpose of purple shampoo. It's not going to cancel out orange. You need to have blue to cancel out orange. Now, there are shampoos that are blue shampoos, but it's not likely that those are gonna be pigmented enough to actually have a lasting effect of masking that orange that's underneath there. So. The best thing you could do, like I said again, is just make sure you put all of your time and energy into getting proper lift and you're gonna have so much more success. Also, I know a lot of you are really curious about Shades EQ. You see it everywhere and it's something that you're not really sure how it works or you just wanna become more familiar with it before you start kind of trying it out. I actually just created a new kind of comprehensive video that teaches you everything that you need to know about Shades EQ if it's something that you're considering trying out and using in your salon so um, i'll put like a little card up there so you can click on that as well thank you guys so much for watching this video my name is lauren and i get this question all the time what do i tone with if it's super brassy so i hope that was helpful for you just a few quick shades that you could throw on there if you are in a pinch again get that lifting down and it's going to be so much better but if you're in a pinch if somebody has just like a ton of color in their hair and that orange is unavoidable things like that this is gonna work great for you so I hope that was helpful and if you want more help with toning formulating balayage make sure to check out the links in the description below I have a few cool resources for you guys thanks again so much for watching my name is Lauren and I will see you in the next video